Hey guys, great news. There is a brand new TeamSpeak 3 crash that was just recently submitted to us by an awesome VIP member on the R4P3 network forum. His name is Keviro or Keviro, something like that. Anyway, I've got a 64-bit Windows here, and so I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and just download that. Now, optionally, if you want to mess around with uh, with the database file, you can also download this 7-zip file. That is going to require that you use uh, a 7-zip um, 7-zip archive tool to extract that. So I'll just uh, I'll set that up really quick, and we'll we'll proceed on. So boom, it's done. Anyway, what we're gonna do now though is check out the. Uh, Whoops, we're going to go into our downloads, and we have this here. I'm just going to go ahead and extract this out to my desktop to be able to launch this server. And then it's also it's also cool to, uh, to just take the 7-zip file out, right? So we've got that all taken care of, and... What we want to do is open the uh, the server file and just go ahead and launch the server. So one important thing to note is that the key right here, this is the admin key. Now it's obviously the same for everybody, so uh, so be careful. Don't uh, I, I don't know, just don't run the server like in production. I mean, obviously that would make no sense. But anyway, let's go ahead and connect into our server to try to get our key set up. Right, boom! Immediately you crash. So uh, no luck there. I mean, you can't even really put your key in, so I guess that's kind of helpless. Um, the reason I set this up that way, though, is because it, this is like a, a test crash server. And what you could do with this is, well, just kind of, uh, you know, just do a little bit of testing. You could debug what the crash is really all about. Um, I, I've honestly not done that yet. So anyway, let's say that you pull this out and you want to look in here. There is this SQLite Studio uh, file, and what we can do is, or what I recommend you do is go ahead and let's um let's go ahead and remove this database. So yeah, just click remove the database, and then what we're gonna do is come back over here and uh, close close the server software. So that's gonna get rid of those temp files or whatnot. So copy this, and we're going to add a database, and we're just gonna paste in that path. Oh, we're already in there. So go ahead and get this to open. Boom, there we go, look at this. So what we're looking at for this specific crash is the uh, the group's channel, and then we're gonna look in the data. So it's actually this here. Uh, if, you take a, if you take a glance in here at this, this literally is what triggers that crash. So you could, yeah, I, I don't know. It's <laughs> it, it's just really funny the way that TeamSpeak uses the QT framework and and you can easily trigger crashes, I guess. So, uh, good luck, TeamSpeak. Uh, I hope that this gets fixed. Uh, a big shout out to Kaviro or Kaviro. It's K E V I R O. He's on our form, and uh, stay happy, stay safe out there. Uh, obviously, do not uh, do not abuse us, but uh, just for uh, just kind of a proof of concept here to show you how someone w would abuse this if they were going to, which I, I'm obviously, um, I'm gonna go into just a random server. It's kind of typical and it's standard, standard of me. And uh, so what I typically do is I would generate like a, a URL uh, equals, whoops, TS3 server. And then I would get my, I would get the server IP address here. So 
So then Well, I I actually need to go launch that team speak server up if I'm going to have that work. There you go. So yeah, that's uh that's a proof of concept I just show showcased to you. You can launch the server up and uh you, you can send a fake URL. Um you, you could maybe get someone to like click on an image or something and, and then URL link it to this like TS3 server, which opens up the uh the connection to that server. And who knows what exactly happens. I like I said, I've not debugged the crash. Uh someone that's good with uh like Ali Debug, Ida Pro Disassembler, ETC. If you wanted to, uh you, you could take a look at it. Uh, I I really just don't have the time, honestly, to, to reverse engineer it and trace through what what exactly is going on with this crash. But I, I would be curious, though, to see if there's any way that you can uh, you, you can kind of like do any any fun, exciting things, because that's a, a bit dangerous to just be able to send someone a link, a URL and uh, and click it and then have them uh, have them crash out. So I. I'm definitely not saying to be worried or anything like that. I, I don't necessarily have any extreme reasons for anyone to be worried, but still, it's another TeamSpeak crash, and there's a lot of them. <laughs>